2018 Ford Echo Sport Titanium. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Ford. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard as well as option equipment that is available on the titanium trim of the 2018 Ford Echo Sport. Now, we are told uh, for a long time I thought this was called the, the Eco Sport, uh, but uh, going to the, uh, the auto show, they've uh, corrected us. Ford has said it is called the Echo Sport. So uh, keep that in mind, and that's how I'll refer to it the rest of this video. Now, you can check below because this is going to be a long video. We'll have timestamps down in the description. Uh, if you uh, do have a desktop computer you're watching this on, you can actually click on those times and it'll automatically forward you to that point. So we'll go completely around the vehicle, then we'll dive inside and then talk about those uh, different packages and standalone options at the end of this video. So I hope this will be really helpful for you. It's not a full review to go over the performance of the vehicle. It's just going to go over the equipment that you can get as standard as well as optional. First, let's talk about safety and some of the features on the front of the vehicle. Of course, this is one of the safer vehicles, uh, just like all the other Ford lineup uh, that has been uh, really protect you with a personal safety system for those in the driver and front passenger up here. So it's going to have a dual stage front airbag uh, that's going to deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the steering wheel. And there are sensors underneath the seats that lets them, lets the system know exactly how far you are or how close you are, I should say, to the steering wheel. Also, you're going to have knee airbags uh, for up here that protect from that si front collision as well. And the driver and front passenger are also going to have the side impact airbags. And that's going to protect them from those side collisions. And then to protect even those in the back, any kind of rollover, you're going to have the safety canopy airbags. You're going to deploy down from the roof line, uh, coming down inside that glass to protect those on the outside, any kind of rollover that might occur. Now, hopefully you don't have that because this does have advanced track with roll stability control and really help you try to stay on your intended path by using a series of uh, power and brakes uh, to the different individual wheels to keep you on that intended path and uh, help with any kind of rollover uh, possibility there. Now, if you do get in an accident, it does have SOS post-crash alert system that's going to honk the horns and flash the lights. And that way, if you're off the road and you're not able to, to get out of your vehicle, people will see that you're off the road and can help come to your safety and call police and that kind of thing. Also, you can call police on your own with the 911 assist that comes with this as well. And if you connect your phone via Bluetooth, you can have that 911 assist set up. So if you're not able to get to your phone, it'll help you uh, call 911 for you uh, in that kind of situation as well. So some great safety features on the vehicle. Now let's talk about the front of it a little bit. This does have, uh, we'll talk about the two different engines. First, it can come standard with your front wheel drive, which is going to get your 1.0 liter EcoBoost engine. That's a four cylinder engine, uh, actually a three cylinder engine that's going to give you 123 horsepower, 125 pound-feet of torque. Uh, and it's going to get you pretty good gas mileage, 27 in the city, 29 on the highway. So again, real nice uh, engine there. Also, your four-wheel drive is going to come with a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine. That's a that natural aspirated engine that we're seeing in, in the focuses and such. Uh, that engine is going to deliver 166 horsepower, 149 pound-feet of torque. And for gas mileage, it's going to get you 23 in the city, still get you that 29 on the highway. So, and one of the reasons they're able to get that, that 29 miles per gallon on the highway is the active grill shutters. This is going to have the act like shutters on your house. So when you're in the city, they're going to open up, allowing airflow in to cool, keep your engine cool, uh, giving you a little bit better experience there driving around town. And then on, when you get on the highway, it's going to shut those, those shutters, uh, allowing all the air to come around since you got plenty of airflow to cool the vehicle off, giving you better uh, fuel mileage. So I think you'll like that. And grill shutters have been on the focus uh, in some of the other vehicles for quite a while now. Now here on the, the look of the front uh, is different on the titanium, so you do have that bright uh, look here, the nice chrome bars with the chrome surround, just going to be a nice look here on the, the uh, grill. And then down below here, I call that the uh, front skid plates, uh, which is really nice. It has a magnetic look to it and painted in. 
right there just to give it a little bit different pop to it. You're going to see body colored bumpers throughout here. You're going to have your fog lights down here. Also automatic uh, quad beam halogen headlights as well. And automatic means they're going to come on uh, when you have it on a setting. Automatic will come on when it gets dark and also they're wiper activated. So when you turn the wipers on, they're going to come on as well. And you do have signature lighting. It's an LED light right over here. Uh, it's going to light up. You can configure it to be your daytime running lights. Uh, just looks real sharp when you're driving down the road. But also a nice safety feature too because people are going to see that and it's going to kind of pop and they'll know that, uh, that you're coming your way. So, Also a couple things here with the windshield. First off, standard equipment on these is going to be your rain sensing wipers. Uh, that comes in real handy. So as it starts to rain, if you have it on one of those intermittent settings, it's going to automatically turn those wipers on and allow it to rain. It comes in real handy when you have those uh, situations when it's starting to mist or rain and it changes the, the tempo of the rain. Uh, it'll also make, wipe these uh, windshield wipers faster or slower. depends on uh, how hard it is raining. So that comes in real handy. Also, you have laminated uh, acoustic laminated glass here. And that's two pieces of glass with a plastic sheet in between and it really helps for noise dampening. So it's going to make it a little bit quieter, especially on the highway for those here on the inside of the vehicle. Now moving around to the side of the vehicle, it does have a 17 inch uh, magnetic painted aluminum wheel. So real nice sharp looking wheel, uh, upgraded wheel. And look, I don't think I've seen this wheel through the Ford lineup yet. So I think you're going to be really pleased with the overall look of that wheel. Now here on the mirror, you do have body colored mirror cap, turn signal indicator here on the outside, nice safety feature. Also does have your power heated glass. And you're also going to get Bliss with Cross Traffic Alert as standard equipment on your Titanium. So what's great about Bliss is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror on that side and lets you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a light in the mirror on the side that they're coming from. Also puts a message on the dash telling you the same thing in a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. So I think it's great that this, uh, this equipment is standard on all your Titaniums. Also intelligent access that allows you to be able to leave that key fob in your pocket. You just walk up, put your hands in the door handle, it's going to automatically unlock the doors. And it'll unlock either the driver's door or all four of the doors, depends on what you have set up in that settings there. Uh, allow you to get inside the vehicle. So that's a, a real nice having that intelligent access. It even has push button start inside so you don't have to get the keys out of your pocket to not only get in it but also to operate it. And so and then when you get out there's ridges on, on the doors here on the driver's door. You just press the ridges and it's going to lock the vehicle up uh, and uh, that's uh, also really nice again not having to get the keys out of your pocket. Now to finish off the side here I love the, uh, the roof rack rails up here. They are going to go from black to the silver painted uh, look there. Uh, real nice side uh, rails up here and then you do get privacy glass uh, that's a dark tinted glass here for the back windows as well as the back glass just keeps it a little bit cooler and looks real nice as well and you have the silver belt line molding out over here and body color door handles so just finishes the side off real nicely. Now here in the back it does have a rear spoiler back here also rear defrost with rear wiper and you're going to see some nice chrome accents right here on the lift gate you have a chrome accent as well as here on both sides uh, for the uh, in the rear LED tail lamps here. Also, you're going to have rear view camera and reverse sensing. So as you're backing up, you're going to be able to see behind you and you're going to get alerted if you get too close to anything. So the reverse sensing is a titanium upgrade there. Also, you're going to see the rear skid plate also similar to the front, that kind of the gray accent to it or molded in uh, color there. Also, you're going to have rear reflectors on both corners here too. So real nice, real easy to get into the back. Uh, it does have a little button right here, right within the rear or this L, the tail lamp here. You just press it and then you pull it. It doesn't like pull open or anything. It's just a button you just press in there and then you go ahead and, and pull it open. So uh, real nice here to get inside. So a little bit different than your other uh, SUVs in the Ford lineup. Now uh, inside here you're going to have some nice flexibility. This does come with the cargo netting as standard equipment or I should say cargo cover as standard equipment. So you can just pull that open uh, and kind of protect things there in the back so people can't see inside if you have any belongings back there which is really nice. And it's retractable. It can uh, come out as well so you can uh, take that out when you need to. And then in here also you get a shelf that's uh, included with this too. So uh, really nice about this is that you can pull the shelf out um, and then you can move it up a little bit and it kind of gives like a hollow floor under there. So you can put some smaller things down under there if you need to and bringing that up. Also if you don't want to uh, bring things and drop them into the cargo area it kind of gives it more of a level um, little positioning there for you. So that's kind of nice having that in there. There is another position up a little higher but then when it lays down it kind of gives more of an angle. So I'm not sure why you'd want that because everything would probably fall out uh, in there. But if you need a little more room I guess you want to hide things in there you could do that and people may not even realize that it's in there. So uh, nice little flexibility there here on the inside of the cargo area. 
Now moving to the interior, you have two different color interiors. Uh, the one you're seeing in here is a medium light stone interior. So you're going to see uh, on the bottom part of the dash and the, the doors is, is going to be set medium light stone color. And then you're going to have your black on the top part of your dash and uh, some of your accents on your seat. And then you're going to have your medium light stone uh, leather seating surfaces here uh, like you're seeing with this. Now you go with the ebony or that, the ebony or black interior, you're going to see uh, where the tan is, it's going to be black as well. So you're going to see have an all black interior with the black uh, leather seating surfaces. Now the front seats up here do get heated seats. Also, you get power driver seat. It's a four-way power seat, so it'll move the seat cushion up and down, and then also the backrest back and forth, and then you have a manual lumbar as well. And then the, the seat over here is going to have a, a, a manual seat, be able to move the seat cushion up and back, as well as the backrest can go back and forth. So it's a four-way manual seat adjustment. And the back back here, it does have a seats three in the back seat. 60-40 uh, split bench seat for those seat rests, and I didn't mention those earlier, but you can lay those down. Uh, if you lay them down on top of the seat cushions, you'll have a little bit of a slant uh, to it, so it won't lay flat. But if you lift the cushions up against the back of those uh, front seats, and then lay the backrest down, it'll lay flat. So you have a flat. You will have a little elevation from the back cargo area, but if you put that little that shelf that I mentioned earlier into that top slot, you'll be able to slide things right in on top of those back seats if you want to which is really nice. You do have two arm, an armrest that comes in the middle backrest with two cup holders. Also, you have a 110 outlet behind this console here. Now, here in the door, you have your power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one-touch for the driver's window. Leather-wrapped steering wheel is a manual tilt and telescoping, so it'll go up and down, forward and back. It does have cruise control on the left side of the steering wheel. And you do have uh, two little directional pads here. Uh, the one on the left is going to control all your settings there in your productivity screen there. And the uh, buttons on the right are going to control redundant settings for your audio controls and your Bluetooth controls. Uh, now here for your climate is an electronic climate control. Uh, so you do have automatic uh, temperature uh, settings there for you. It just kind of a set it and forget it. Your heated seat buttons are right there as well. And then here on the screen, uh, this is does have the Sync 3 system. That, that's third generation voice enhanced recognition system with this new screen design that we haven't seen on any of the other uh, Ford lineup uh, that has come with this Echo Sport. So I think you'll like that. You can control your phone, uh, your audio, and your navigation right here in this. And navigation is standard equipment on the titanium trim. So you're going to have this, that screen where you can control everything and your backup camera is going to come into view in that screen as well. So I think you'll like that. Also this comes with Sync Connect. And Sync Connect is really, it's new for a lot of the Ford lineup in 2018 and it helps you to connect to the vehicle. And I haven't mentioned Remote Start yet because that's one of the features that's part of the Sync Connect. By using the Ford uh, Pass app you can remote start your vehicle from anywhere also, you can unlock and lock your vehicle. You can schedule remote start, start times and even find your vehicle using that Ford Pass app, which is really nice. It even comes with Wi-Fi hotspot for the vehicle, so you can connect up to 10 devices, and it goes within 50 feet. So if you have, you know, have some people over, you're tailgating or something, all those people can connect to the screen. So up to 10 devices there, and you can use the the mobile uh, as a mobile hotspot. And then there are some great affordable data plans that are unlimited for like only $20 a month through AT&T, which is what Ford is using for this system. So I think you will really love that Sync Connect. Also up here on the mirror, you get auto dimming rear view mirror. You also get power moonroof is standard equipment on this with a manual sunshade. And in fact, I think even the SE gets the power moonroof as standard equipment as well. And then you also get ambient lighting. It lights up the cup holders, the footwells, and your door handles. So you're gonna be able to see those easily at night. And then uh, talking about some other connectivity, part of that Sync Connect, you're going to get two smart USB ports here uh, where you can connect those smartphones using the USB plugins you get from your carrier, uh, which is a really nice. Also, you get a PowerPoint here too. A little console to put an arm armrest on, open it up. Uh, it does have a little tray in here. You can uh, pull that tray out. It's a little bit smaller. And then you have a little bit deeper area to put some uh, other stuff in. Not real big, but it is uh, big enough to put a few little things, coins, that kind of thing in there. It even has a little tray right there that you could put coins in or little things in there too. And another little slot. So all, all kinds of little compartments, even a little tray up here to be able to put some things in. I think there's a, there's a couple bottle holders in the doors, uh, on the front doors. Also you have cup holders up here that we mentioned. And there's a cup holders that come out of the middle of the backrest. I think there's uh, six cup holders in the vehicle. So um, really nice equipment. And of course, everything we talked about so far is standard on all your titaniums.
Now let's talk about some different packages that are available. There are no other equipment groups on the titanium. There's just a 400A equipment group, but there are some packages that are available. And the first one we're going to talk about is that titanium coal weather package. Uh, now that you'd expect on, on some of the other vehicles, it's going to include three great features that'll help you out during the winter time. One of those is going to be the windshield wiper de-icers. Those are going to come on real handy because a lot of times that windshield will defrost that, the windshield, but you still get water on those windshield wipers and they tend to freeze up in those cold weather climates and the de-icers will help with that so they won't freeze up so much. Also, you're going to get heated steering wheel as part of this package. Um, that's going to come in real handy. It will also be included in some of your remote start settings if you can, you can control those in your dash and exactly what's controlled within that, whether or not you want the steering wheel to turn on. And that button's going to be right in between those heated seat uh, buttons uh, that we showed you earlier. So that's a real nice and easy as well. And then you're also going to get all weather floor liners. And so they are, uh, it does come standard with carpeted mats. I didn't mention that earlier, uh, but also with this, this package, you're going to get floor liners. So all weather floor mats are going to go with it as well so you have both of those and then that really helps out especially when those places where you get a lot of snow or mud or rain that's going to come in real handy to, to protect the bottom of the floor uh, in in the vehicle as well so this is a real nice package uh, that is an optional equipment now let's talk about the interior protection package and this package is not available with your cold weather package so you can get them together uh, so keep that in mind and this one's really going to protect is really protect the inside of the vehicle so if you don't want the heated seats in that cold weather package uh, you can get this one and you're still going to get those floor liners they're going to come in the vehicle to protect those all-weather floor mats to protect the fo footwells there in the vehicle and you're going to get a cargo mat that grows across the back of the uh, cargo area too to protect it on the back and that's really kind of help in those situations where you know you're going to get the inside of it a little bit dirty, uh, this is a great package to have. Now let's talk about a package you can either order uh, with your vehicle from the factory or from the factory accessories department. Either way, they're going to come to the dealership ahead of time and then the, the dealership will install them or give them to you. Uh, and this in here is the cargo management package. Now this package includes two features. One of them is going to be a cargo netting. And a lot of times you see that in a vehicle, you just put the, the netting across there and across the back, put all those small items in there and that way they won't roll around in the cargo area. Another one is a cargo organizer comes with this. So uh, just an organizer kind of helps you uh, partition the vehicle a little bit or the cargo area uh, making it a little bit more to easy to manage and organize your cargo area back there so again this is going to either come uh, through the uh, Ford accessories so if you find a vehicle doesn't have this package on it it's something you can still get from the accessories department Let's talk about some standalone options. And there's uh, one option that you need that's required uh, from the factory put on the vehicle, and that is a different wheel option. You do have a 17 inch uh, painted machine aluminum wheel. So a little bit different look. Uh, I really think the standard wheel is more of a high gloss look, whereas the other one is more of a, a flat look to it. Uh, but both of those are very uh, nice looking wheels that you can put on the vehicle. So one option of wheel possibility. Now there are other, three other options that are available through the accessories department or your parts department. Uh, so you can order them either on the vehicle or you can get them afterwards. And one of those is going to be your remote start system. So we mentioned that the Ford Pass, you can do it through the app, but if you'd rather have it on your remote, you can uh, order that and it's going to come actually an accessory on, onto your keypad. So it'll be one button to remote start the vehicle. So remote start is something you can get added to it. Also, you can also get a keypad here uh, that's gonna you can put on the vehicle it's really is a basically another keyless remote uh, that allows you to get in the vehicle but you can set your own special code and then you can put that on the pillar it is like going to be a two-sided sticky tape uh, they can go on the vehicle uh, here there wherever you might want to put it I've actually seen some people put it down under here where people can't see it and don't realize it's there so it can be put on the vehicle uh, it should be able to be done that way I actually haven't seen it on one of the vehicles but most of the vehicles that's the way it's done. Also you can get mud flaps. Uh, mud flaps can go on there, protect it, especially if you live on dirt roads or you know, live in a lot of wet climates, snowy climates, that might be something that you might want to kind of protect uh, the under, under part of them, uh, especially from rock chips and such on those dirt roads. So that is another uh, optional equipment that is available too. So let's talk about warranties now. You do get a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, and that's going to cover all those non-wear and tear items there. Also, it's, you have a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty, as well as roadside assistance. So a lot of people don't take advantage of the roadside assistance. It'll help you out if you have a dead battery, uh, maybe a flat tire or something. They'll help you out and get you to your, your destination. They'll even, if you're, you don't feel comfortable changing the tire, they'll even come and change the tire for you. So keep that in mind. That is available for five-year and 60,000 miles. 
Now also check out our website, lawmacarthur.com. There in each one of our vehicles you can check for availability, schedule a test drive, you can see pictures. Uh, also you can pull up the original window stickers on our vehicles. So what's great about that is on the window stickers that you pull up on the website you can see the standard equipment at the top plus those optional equipment and packages that we mentioned down to the left side of that. And so you can see that total MSRP price. And on our website you'll find that we're a little bit different. We don't just have your MSRP minus or rebates. We actually have our internet pricing which in all of our vehicles is very aggressive. Uh, we try to be one of the top priced dealerships in this area as well as across the country. So I think you'll find it's easy to work with. And keep in mind, if you're from another state, uh, rebates are reflected from your zip code, not from the dealership. So if you see our rebates a little bit different than yours, uh, that's because ours are based on our area code, 67401. So keep that in mind. And again, as I mentioned earlier in this video, uh, we do free shipping as well anywhere in the 48 states. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, you want to work from us, uh, because you've really felt this uh, video is valuable and helpful for you and you'd like to work with our dealership, we do free shipping as long as you finance the vehicle through uh, the dealership here. And a lot of times we'll go through Ford credit on most of those. And that just helps us out because shipping is not free and for me to cover the cost, as long as you finance, the lenders will give us a kickback. So it's money that we get from them and not from you and a great way to get you a good vehicle. Get it shipped right to your door as well. So I think you'll find it's easy to work with. You can give us a call or send us a text message at 785 378 5031. Uh, again, we have coordinators that have been with us for a long time, over 10 years apiece, uh, and I think you'll really find it's really easy to get, get along with, and we have answers to any questions you might have, or at least we'll find them for you. So leave any comments you have down below. Let me know what you think of, the, of this vehicle. Uh, give me those comments, uh, and I'd uh, love to see your feedback. Also, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. think it was a good quality video, so other people will see that as well. And the more thumbs up I get, the more prominent the video shows up for YouTube, and uh, so other people can see this nice this video as well. Uh, there are people looking for research and they're researching on these and they really want all the information they can and I think this video does a really good job of pointing out all the different standards and well most option equipment that's available for somebody who's looking for a titanium trim on this. So I think you'll, you'll really like it. So I hope you like this video too. If you did, don't forget thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Until the next video, I'll see you later.